Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. You're still drinking it. Didn't mean to make it feel weird. It's weird. What? No, I'm fine. That we're still drinking I'm, it. I'm totally <laughs> not the scared lost lamb Charlie makes me out to be. Oh, I know. That's why I'm super coming on to you. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> so basically, you'd rather drink this shit than acknowledge all the signs I'm throwing at you. I wonder if we need to, like, look at our wheel trades here. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. There you go. Can make this even more devastating when one of them dies. What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> well, I put oh, move in. Why did I or was that you making that shit? What? I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Okay, yeah, now it's gonna be even more devastating when one of them dies. Sorry, sorry. Got an achievement for that, though. Who is Special that? Special feature unlocked. Special feature? Yep. For encouraging a relationship? Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Kick him in the balls. What the fuck, Charlie? You just standing there trying to listen in? What? No, I was just about to knock. What do you want? Did I... Did I interrupt something? My Charlie has got mad twice now. We were just having a drink and talking smack about you. Excuse me? I mean, that is why you stopped to listen, right? To see if we were talking about you? I... We're just messing with you, Charlie. Relax. I don't <laughs> care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room. And I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> what? <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, didn't Aaron, he say I that? Check my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us didn't is colorblind and doesn't that know what a blue bag is. Couldn't film anything without his permission. Yep. <laughs> to be continued then? Yes, definitely. Now I gotta freaking babysit Charlie. Good luck finding your rooms. Watch out for that window, dude. <laughs> if it lets you stay as her, watch out for that mirror, I should say. The mirror, not the window. Come on, oh. come on, let's go, let's go. Oh. What? Where the hell are they going? Why are they bailing like that? Yeah, considering he's supposed to be there at 8. He's supposed to be doing the dinner at 8. He said something about the mirror. There it yeah. is. Yeah. Two way mirror? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's more than one involved in this. driver what the oh well no I'm saying there's more than one because someone had to keep those two here well while the I'm driver was driving us oh Kate wanted you to have this Breaking down walls. So I think there's the driver and then the, there's the groundskeeper. Are you fucking kidding me? 
I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed. No okay. okay. Do I look fucking stressed? Uh. That was rhetorical. <laughs> well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh yeah, embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Open locked Damn. drawers. Okay. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumas. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. Blue We're bag, front sorry. pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy is such a dick. I don't like Charlie. I don't like it. Does he have an extra hat? It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about Mark that? and Kate were in a relationship, but they broke up. Uh, so Charlie's just a massive dick. That was kind of a... The scope of this place is... I can't believe we've lucked into this. Are you worried it will make our other episodes look cheap? They are cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. That's the spirit. Amy, Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. Yeah, when Amy had a photo opportunity. You think we'll get another season? Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly, and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt to traverse through, dude. There's going to be a lot of places to go, huh? It's already a maze. No kidding, getting lost trying to go back to a room is going to be difficult. Okay. Circle around the top here. Sure, there's nothing I'm missing out on. Yep, there's something right here. Anthem Dumont. Items for additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept? Oh no. Mr. Morello. Sure, I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My brother Francis is in town the minute at the minute, so that'll make up five. Oh no. We're not the first group, yeah. dude. Uh, I can't hear you. No, I wasn't talking, oh. so they hey, uh I guess to bring in people I was here and slaughtering season, them all. Maybe I could end. do more with the sound yeah, design. Yeah, five at a more time. Creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company nice. is very valuable. That is the body count in that number. Carrying the old your bags thing, and so. picking up your laundry. I think so. Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I don't know what to take pictures of. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? 
Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm An just... assistant. A personal assistant. Sort of. Well, that's the and then I could help out with is. the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity Jeez. to show like some Right. There's like yes, a... Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my Operating signal. table back here. Exactly. So, do uh, you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. 19 No, but I mean real movies. With a big a budget. And big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. Yeah. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Okay, so what's that? Almost 10 days. What's that here real quick? That one's almost 10 days. It's almost 10 days. I don't think anybody survives past a week here. And I think the survivors from one... I suppose I should be thankful. It's just my cigarettes that I'm missing and not our gear. I think only a few people are allowed to survive to bring in the next group and then they're allowed to leave. Wow, you're someone really dark. The Seed of the Devil, The Truth Behind America's First Serial Killer by Joseph Morello. Secret Found, J. Morello's Holmes book. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers, and none have intrigued him more than H.H. H. Holmes in his latest paperback. Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? Dude, Joseph Romarello was the group just before us. Yeah, well, he's the guy that wrote a book that uh, was fascinated with. Mother Lucinda settling in very well. Hector, Mr. Hector Monday. Mr. Monday, thank you for choosing Twilight Prairie as a residence for your mother Lucinda. So, uh, Hector Monday. Hector Monday. For his mother. Uh-huh. She was sent to a home. I guess that didn't work out. I'm assuming. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask here. him about cigarettes. Police book? Police books, yeah, on the bookshelf. Well, we know Mr. Demet is gone. Hey, come here. I was right at the door. I was literally right there. Why, Why don't I back? go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. This dude is desperate for cigarettes, like annoying Lucio. Hello? Mr. Dumet? There is no Dumet. Hello? Beast of Arkansas? Behind bars? Ooh. One more second. Wow, an animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? 
Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Another special feature unlocked. Miss <laughs> Kelly Schroeder. Incredible work. I've got a recording here. Tell. change on yes <laughs> yes oh, of course it wants exact change okay so let me uh 